Hey, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hey guys, take it easy. Hey, all right guys, thanks for coming out. Let's get the, let's line up for the picture. Quit eyeballing each other. All right. Everybody line up for the picture. Bill, you have to smoke in the picture. All right. Hey guys, what about me? What about me? No, you're kind of ugly. You're going to have to just lay down in the back and hide. Okay. There we go. Everybody. Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Hey guys, Doug back with you with another little uh, fun little carving video. And today, as you can see by the introduction, we're doing little two inch men. All right. Real fun little guys to carve. And as you can see, I've been doing my homework. I got a whole raft of these guys. And uh, I've done my homework, so you don't have to. But this project, once we set up the basic body, the options are endless what you can do with this. So it's going to be, uh, it won't be the last time you see this. And uh, like I said, so many options and such a fun little project. But again, Two Inch Man comes from a one by one by two inch piece of basswood today. And uh, I think today I'll use my inch and a half OCC tool knife, but uh, whatever knife you have that's sharp and strop and ready to roll is good enough for this. So before we get going, we gotta thank our buddies over at Wood Carving Illustrated. Wood Carving Illustrated is a magazine for wood carvers and wood carver wannabes. It's full of tips, tricks, plans, techniques, tools, you name it, it's got it. One of the, I think it's the only carving magazine out there and one of the best, obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, real good little magazine. And uh, they've given me a little promo code, uh, LINKER, all caps, L-I-N-K-E-R. If you head over to woodcarvingillustrated.com and uh, subscribe to the magazine and use that promo code, they'll give you some little extra little goodies, some little downloads and some plans and whatnot. So uh, yeah, definitely go check them out. They're... Uh, they're really keeping the hobby going and uh, it's a great magazine. You won't be disappointed. So link will be in the description and uh, let's carve a little two inch man. All right. So we got our block of wood here and uh, you know the drill. We're going to mark centers all around this fella. All right. Just to keep us honest and to know where we're, uh, where we're working. Okay. Now, with our block of wood here, we're going to find a center, which would be obviously one inch. Okay. And then uh, from that one inch, this is the front. We'll go pull it up just about a quarter of an inch, like so. Go around the back. Put a line on there. Take it off here and here. That's the angle of our neck. All right. Same on this side. Tick, tick, boom. All right. Just like that. Of course, we need our little little footsies marked out here. So give them a good quarter inch on the bottom there. And then we'll come around the back side and uh, go half an inch. And that's the, the butt. All right. And that's pretty much it for now. So I got my knife here. And uh, all we're going to do is uh, we're going to do little V cuts. All right. So the line is actually going to be the, the center of the V cut. All right. We'll just run around really quick and do these little V cuts on the corners. All right. Now that we got them, now we can do those V cuts on the sides. All right. Just like so. See that? All right. And if you want to take smaller bites, take smaller bites. Watch the video over the first time and don't try and keep up. Just watch through and then you'll get the idea and you'll know where we're going. So, so now we're going to go all the way around. And, uh, yeah, keeping that line in the center of our V-cuts. We're just going to uh, mark out the head. All right. Now, since this is the, uh, the front, I'm going to go a little bit straighter in. And I'm going to really come underneath that and try and get some depth under that chin. All right. See that? Like so. Okay. Then we will uh, go to the feet here. Same idea. Just going to do a little V cut above that line. All right. And then we'll just come across, knife on the line, and just work our way up and down. I should mention that uh, a safety glove is always uh, 
cut proof glove is always recommended. Right. So, not about that deep. All right. So, we're just we're just uh, you know the drill. We're just kind of getting the our shape laid out. All right. And now this is the the back side here. So what we're going to do here is uh, go from the line. Do a V cut again. V cut in the corner, on the corner, and then right across. All right. And now you can see we, we got it like that. I want to bring that all the way down, like so. And get that butt set right in place here. See that? And then it's going to come come across the bottom. Take off a bit of that uh, extra. There you go. That is our basic uh, body shape. We could take a little bit off the head, but uh, we're going to put ears on this guy. So we're going to keep as much to the back of our head. But as you can see, I've skinnied up some of these heads. But uh, in this case, we're going to add some ears. So we're just going to use the full block. All right. So, okay. Let's go back to the feet really quick here. And uh, we can just knock these corners off. All right. And then let's just, uh, on a 45 degree angle, let's just kind of come in like that. And then come right down like that. You see that? So basically I'm going to come down and across. All right. There you go. That's a little wonky, but better. Okay. And then, uh, you know, really we can do the same thing on the butt here. We're going to change this, uh, after we get our arms set, but I just like to knock off those really sharp corners, but this is our, our face here. All right. So as you can see, we've, uh, quartered that. So basically what we're going to do is shape that head like that on the front. Okay. So, and that's why we have these nice lines. Like I said, that would keep us honest. It's okay if we can still see the line. We don't have to be like uh, perfection. All right. All right. One side. But those lines save a lot of uh, a lot of mistakes, keeping you keeping you in line. All right. So there you go, roughly like that. And now on the bottom of the chinny chin here. I'm just going to bring that back again. All right. Well, there we go. See that? Now, right here, same thing. I'm going to knock those corners off. This is a very good start to our little man here. Okay. So. Now, when I'm looking at this guy here, I want to know where his nose is going to be. So I'm going to go just about uh, center, but then I'm going to drop it just a little bit. All right. Just a hair below center. All right. And I'm just going to, uh, a little undercut here, cut up to it, all right? And that is the bottom of his nose, all right? But from there, I'm going to take some of this uh, wood off, see that? And then you're going to angle the same thing this way and the same thing this way, okay? I take a little point off the nose, all right? That's what we got. We could even go a little bit farther back if we wanted to. But, so then we can put our center line back on here. So I want my nose to be oh about that big. <laughs> about a third, really, a third. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do a little little cut here and a cut here. All right. 
It just marks the top of my nose and it helps me with my eyes. Okay. okay. Now, put that nose just a little bit straighter. Like so. I'm going to put some little wings up. Let me show you here. I'm going to put this line back all the way here. So, keeping a little bit of wood on each side of that line, I'm just going to make uh, some little wings. Like so. For the nose. See that? Now, from there, I'm going to, uh, same thing on each side of the line, just give it a little bit of space. I'm going to draw that nose on there. All right. All right. I'm just going to cut in straight like that. Be careful not to cut in. We want to cut out a little bit on that line. And then just take it out. All right. There we go. Now, there's our center mark again. Make sure both sides look uh, pretty much the same. And this is still rough. We got uh, we got time to play with it. But anyway, I'm gonna thin the top there a little bit. I got a little bit uh, a little bit too thick there. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, well, let's just start. I'm just gonna draw where I think the eyes are going to go. All right, like that. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, take my pencil, top of the eyes here, and bring that mark over to the side here and the side here. All right, and then I'm going to take the same thing, the bottom of the nose, and mark it right here. I'm going to mark it right here. And that is our ear pockets from the center line back. And the actual ear, actually, we're going to reserve that square, which obviously the ears won't be square, but we're going to reserve that room for the ears. All right, so it's just blocking these ears right now. All right. Don't cut too deep because uh, it'll show. So you don't want to cut deeper. And this is rough, so don't worry about some little rough cuts and whatever like I'm doing right now. But I just want those ears saved. All right. All right. Like I said, don't get too caught up with... But I am going... Uh... What am I doing here? What do they say that is? A couple mil? It's not quite an eighth of an inch. All right. So. Our ears are saved. Okay. You can see that? Okay. So back to our little eyeballs here. I'm going to uh, put a little shelf just underneath the top of the nose there. Okay. I'm going to cut my knife this way. I'm just going to come down. Cut that little eye shelf there. All right. So basically drawing those eyes in there was a pretty much a waste of time. But it gave me where I wanted the top of the ears, I guess. So. All right. Make sure you're at the same height on both sides. It's a little bit dirty. You can clean that up a little bit. All right. <sighs> my brush. Get my brush handy. All right. Now. I'll put my eyes back in. I went back and forth with uh, going with the gouge and whatnot, but I decided 
but we're going to stick with the knife on this one. All right. Right on the edge of those eye shelves there, right at the temple area, I want to thin that. I want to thin that up. See that? I always want to look to bring that uh, temple area in. All right. There we go. Now, let's kind of undercut this jawline here a little bit. Right. Let's clean her up as we go. Like I said, we're going to do a bald guy in this fella. So, there we go. All right. Okay, I'm still looking at these ears, making sure everything is still always uh, symmetrical, okay? Okay, so the eyes, I'm just going to uh, stick my knife in there and there and take that chip out. All right. Same on this side, stick my knife in straight. There. Take, oops, hit the camera. Knock that chip out of there. All right. And then I'm going to bring my knife right around like so and right around like so right in the top of that nose okay a little stop cut against the nose both sides i gotta stop hitting the camera that's what i gotta do and i'm gonna clean out that little inside corner and then just round over the top here all right Where's an eyeball? Can we find two of them? Take that out of there. And come around like so. I think we got two eyeballs. Look at that. Look at that, two eyeballs. All right, now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring that little last, well, you can see, I'm just going to stick my knife in here and I'm going to take a little edge off of there. See that? Same on this side. And I'm going to give the guy some little, uh, little bags under his eyes. So I'm just going to take my knife. I'm just going to come down straight in front there very gently. And then come into it like so. And then you take that same cut into that little pocket we just made. And you cut into it that way. All right. Cut around that off. Not as easy working through the camera. <laughs> anyway, that's the idea. Little bottom, bottom eyelid. So I'm just going to put my knife in here, just in front a little bit. I'm going to come down. Chop, chop. I'm going to come across. Like so. Come in. Take it out. There we go. All right. Then I'm going to knock that harsh edge off of there. All the way around. A little V-cut between the eyes here, maybe. This piece of wood is a little bit stringy. To 
totally doable. That's a little stringy. Now I got the little V cut there. And I'm just going to uh, just set up the eyebrows a little bit. Just by rolling my knife. See that? And the eyebrows just kind of up here. Like so. There you go. Okay. Before we set the mouth in here, let's uh let's let's attack these ears here. Right. We can give this guy extra crow's feet and stuff, but let's do that all after. After we get our sides of our face and our ears set, okay? So an ear to me, all I do for an ear, very simple ear, is I'm just gonna take the corners off. Alright, corner, corner. Bottom corner over here, the same. Okay, now I kind of just give an eighth of an inch from the bottom of that angle, this one. So I make a longer cut this way, like so. See that? Let's show you again here. Corner, corner. Corner, and then we'll go a little bit longer. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to go see how that whole ear is flat sticking out. I'm going to leave the back. And I'm going to come forward. I want to bring that on an angle right down to the skin. See that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, that's angled to pretty much nothing here. All right. There you go. It's a funny looking ear. Okay, same on this side. Right down to touching the skin here, pretty much. All right. There you go. I'm going to put a little stop cut right in there. A stop cut right in there. Okay. Now, let's just say we had a line like that. Right. I'm just going to ever so slightly come from the bottom and the top. And just kind of meet in the middle here. Okay. So it kind of looks like the top and the bottom of our ear kind of stick out a little bit, right? So I'm just going to without cutting my finger off. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go right in there like that. Right in there like that. That's my ear. I don't do anything other than that. All right. Just a and you know what? It kind of looks like an ear. Not fancy, but it works. All right. So now I can run my knife around there. Now we're just going to clean that up a little bit. Clean up against that ear. Right. We got lots of little, little cuts and so on there. Right. So we're in the workshop tonight because it's 31 degrees today outside. This is a hot one. Look at that. So far so good. Now that we got our ears in place, now we can round off the back of the head. Give it a 
Get this dude a, a head shape, all right? It's kind of funny, I, uh, some of these guys like they're bald, but they're not egg-headed, right? They don't have to be uh, pointy round heads. So we're just kind of Top like that either. <laughs> so we'll just keep moving around. Roll my knife on top of the ear. You can make really big Dumbo Dumbo esque ears and as well. Like if I kind of cut down like that, that makes those ears pop out a little bit more even. If we think they're sticking out too far, we can always cut them back. But uh, better to be able to see the ears than uh, than not, right? So all right, this can be your basic old bald man. So his nose is awful big, but. I don't mind that either. In the early days of carving, look at the guy's profile. In the early days of carving, we had everything was always so flat. So now that I have a big honker sticking out, I'm okay with that. But you can give him a little character. You can give him a little dip in his nose or whatnot, right? So now, I'm gonna go on both sides of his nose. I'm just gonna put a little mark straight. All right. I don't really have to draw that. I'm just gonna stab my knife in. All right. Stab my knife in. I'm gonna come across. I come across. There is no set angle or whatever. It's just whatever. Whatever you do, and I'm going to take that. I'm going to do my across there and pop out all three sides. See that? All right. So I stick my knife in here, and then come across and catch all those three cuts at once. And there we have our smile lines. All right. We can wing those noses up a little bit more if we want. Noses, nose, the nose. All right. And if we want to put nostrils in, we can, but all that would be would be little simple little V cuts. Because, like I said, not that we're never going to, but we're not going to bring out any other tools on this one. We're just using our knives. So, just little triangles underneath the nose. Give them some nostrils. All right, now I'm going to uh, create these three planes here. Okay, I think I want this guy to be a little, a little happier than some of these. So I'm going to take that, extend those little smile lines. I'm just going to bring them down. They're very small down. If it was all straight down, it'd be a lot more serious. But since we went really wide, he should be he should be a little happier. Right. He's old, but he can still be happy. So let's just give him a great big smile. All right. Now watch these little ticks I put on the end of the smile. We'll see that in a second. So I'm just gonna take my knife in here. Like 
so. Now you're going to do the same cut again, only a different lower angle. Come around. See a smile there. Now I'm going to put my knife in here, straight in. Same on this side. Straight in. And I'm going to come back up and I'm going to take a tiniest of slivers out of there. See that? A little speck in there. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. So there he is. So now I'm just gonna just kind of under rolling, just leaving a little bit of a lip on there. And then that's gonna go up into this corner here. But you'll see what I want to do is I want to bring that lip, fat bottom lip here, and I want it to just dissolve into nothing by the time it gets to the corner. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? There we go. So we can even do a little cut even. Pencil lines all over the place. We don't have points on our on our lips either, so just keep rounding everything off. Take the sharp sharp edges off. And just thin that down on the ends. We got a little little chip in there. Shucks. We'll just cut it out now. And we'll just cut it out and do it again. No sense in uh, getting excited. We'll just fix it. These things happen. Get all these little fuzzies out of here. Come on. And I'm just going to take that sharp edge off that top lip. There we go. Take a little bit off of there. And a little bit off of here. Like I said, not take these sharp edges off of there. There we go. I don't think he's a bad looking guy at all. It's a little bit uh he's a little bit dry. I wanna put some water on his face here. He'll pass. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get working on this body here. All right. What I like to do on these here, if you look at uh, yourself, put your hands in your pockets and look at where your your elbows are. Your elbows are. The widest part on the sides here they stick out all right so that's what i tried to do with these guys see how they kind of kick out a bit 
elbows are pointing out. So I'm going to go about, uh, let's call it three eighths of an inch. All right. And then uh, we'll go this way. I'm just taking that same width. Whatever I do here, I just go bigger before you go small. Like skinny arms look dumb. All right. Let's, <laughs> to put it bluntly. All right, so better to have fatter arms and trim them down than to be too skinny. And, uh, but again, you can see, because if we got that center line there, we can see that we're uh, doing the same on both sides, right? And then I'm just kind of eyeballing the angle of the butt, all right? And then to double check that, I'll put my, uh, my pencil on the, on the crook of the arm there, and I'll just come around this side and say, hey, that's not the same, all right? So then I bring it down and I go again, all right? So that we can always double check like that, all right? Now, if I say my pocket's gonna be about here, all right? I could say that uh, where that arm meets the pocket, I'll put my pencil on there and I'll bring it over here. Now I know that the pocket's gonna go this way, all right? And then you'll have the same same pocket. And then a couple lines on the back. Yeah, I'm not measuring these arms and stuff. It's just, you can see, you can just see what kind of works, all right? But I'm going to uh, take my knife and I'm gonna just stick that in there. I wanna do this cut. I wanna do that once, all right? I don't wanna keep pecking at it and making a hundred little cut lines in my wood, okay? So now I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go deep, right from corner to corner. I just wanna scoop out that nice and deep there. See that, it didn't work, <laughs> but there's no extra cuts in there, okay? Same thing. Just gonna push that knife in there, nice and deep. Straight in, nice and deep. Now I'm just gonna go around, pop that out. All right. Now I can just scoop that right out of here, so that I can see that arm looking straight at. See, I can't see it on this side. I can see it on that side now. Scoop her out. All right. And then I'm going to go right across. So, like I said, these points of the elbow are going to be sticking out. So, I'm going to go across like so. I'm going to go across like so. See that now? All right. Then I'm going to go from there and I'm going to thin that down. Like so. All right, so that's straight right now. So I'm gonna bring it back. All right, now my pockets. My pockets is, I'm just gonna put a cut in here. And then from there, I'm gonna slide it down, All right? Like that. So I also want a little chip In the pocket like that. Same in the front. A little little chip out of there to show a pocket. All right. Cut in the pocket. Slice the arm down into it. Take a little chip under the arm. A little chip on the top. All right. There we go. Now, let me put my knife on that straight line. I'm going to go on a 45 degree. I'm going to come down, meet it there. See that? If you got a real dumb, uh, not dumb, a bad, <laughs> if you have a bad, uh, corner and it looks off centered you can always raise the inside of that elbow just by cheating a little bit and changing where that crook is 
All right. So you can kind of play with the, the height of that. Because I see a lot of guys, sometimes they'll put that little bend way down here, which looks wrong, right? So, same thing. This bass was very, I don't know how to explain it. Stringy, but very dry, very chalky. But it's going to work. All right, so there we go. Now the backs are going to uh, basically come around. Okay. I'm just gonna take my knife in here. I'm not gonna go straight. I'm gonna go on a bit of an angle now. I'm gonna bring that around like so. Slice that up like so. One arm. Down here. Take a little chip of there. And I'll bring that up on this side. All right. Take the little hump out of the middle. All right. Clean my saw cuts off. Okay, so now that we have our arms, I'm just going to, uh, let's just do some little swooping cuts. Get that shoulder straightened up in the back here. And just do some little, little swoops, give it some character. See that, how we just swing that around. Down there, there. Maybe an extra little fold here. crazy. What's happened here? There we go. Center of our thing here. Just going to do a little cut that way. Cut that way. Alright. And just The legs there. Take some corners off. Right. And again, you can put a little, you can put a little fold in here if you want. Right. A little crease up here. Right. But that's his backside anyway. That's a pretty straight line here. Let's take some character. No straight lines and no sharp sharp edges. All right. But we know right here we're gonna have some kind of a sweater or something. So let's let's finish up his backside here and just kind of cut his shirt in here. We're just gonna cut underneath of it. All right? Always try 
to stagger your angle so you wouldn't want the bottom of the shirt to be equal to the bottom of the nose or the nose the elbow right so you just want staggered okay. and all along as you're going here just look it over and anywhere you can put a little extra little shadow just cut a little little chip out but all right clean up the sides here Now, I'm going to change the battery in my camera because it's telling me danger. And uh, we'll come back and finish up our little old man. All right, with our battery changed and uh, our knife stropped, we're good to go again. in there okay now center for our shoes our feet here I'm going to uh, split the feet right. and I'm going to do the same thing above with a, a V cut watch this let's go down like that and then go like that Take that out of there like so. Okay. Now, when we're sitting there, our feet like this, you see my heels are gonna be narrower. So we're gonna take a bit of that off the back side here. Kind of narrow the feet a bit. See that? On the back side. Blow the pockets is pockets is is. Okay. Alright, see that? Just a little bit in. All right. And then uh, our big toe is in the center. We're going to angle a little bit to one side. There we go. See that? how the big toe kicks up a bit? And I always like to... Uh, undercut here just a little bit just to give a little bit of a, a space when it's sitting on the on the ground you can see a, a little space under between the shoes all right and then of course we're going to come up just a little bit to the crotch area here so i'm going to stick my knife in here A stop cut on each side of the shoes that we just did. Cut the camera again and then slide my knife down. And you know, I've mentioned this before, very easy place to, to start digging a hole. So don't dig a hole, just do your best and, and get out. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just going to go off each way here a little bit. Cut a little crotch area, like so. Okay, now I guess we can finish the pants off. The pants are just going to come over the shoes, right? So, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide so carefully. I'm hardly putting any pressure on that knife. I'm just kind of sliding that knife. I'm not going deep. I'm just cutting a little, little line there for the pants. See that? Down the inside on that side. And the inside on that side. Do not push. If I were to push on that, I would break it and I'd have a knife stuck in my hand. Right. So, very gently slide across and come down. Right. 
There we go. There's our pants. You tricky little fella there. Come on. There we go. Snap. All right, so that's not good enough just to have your pants like that, all right? So we're gonna put some little, little V cuts in here, all right? Make those pants look like they're kind of rolled up on the, rolled up on the ground. I'm just hanging over the shoe and touching the ground. Same on this side. Lots of wrinkles. All right. Now, also, we don't have a lot of room here, but what I like to do too is to uh, to kind of give a little feel that his hands are actually in his pockets. So if you can just get a little, even just the slightest little little roll under that, to give that a little bit of an illusion that his hands are actually in his pockets. It doesn't take much, just the slightest little. Bulge in it with his hand, all right? I'll do a little in the center here. All right, so let's just give him a, uh, we kind of give him a sweater on the back, so. Kind of go like that, like that, and let's uh, we can hang it down to lower on one side if we want. Everything doesn't have to be square and straight, all right. So, let's stick my knife in here, come down around and back up, all right. Yeah, I kind of like that. You see how it's just off a little bit? So it's a little bit sagged on this side, so we can even give it a little, little, little crease in there. Maybe a little, little roll of your knife at the bottom. Just to get it a little, a little extra. All right. Get the chip out of there. But if it was a collared shirt or something, you could put a collar on here or give him a little little ring around his sweater. But, uh, you know, for the sake of this video, I'd say we just about got it. Same thing here. You could put a sole. I'm just going to take those edges off the shoes. But you could put an extra little cut around with a little sole on the bottom of the shoe. But, uh, no, I think, uh, I think we just about got this guy. He's very reminiscent to somebody like him. Stick a cigar in his mouth. <laughs> Those guys' eyes are big. That was the fun thing about it. Everyone, no matter how hard you try, everyone looks a little bit, uh, a little bit different, and that's good. All right, so put some water on this fella. Let's make him look up to one way. Like that. Now he's alive. He just became alive. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Just a couple dots and uh, he became alive. So. All right. There you go. Well, there you go. 
That was fun. We made a little, a little two inch man. And uh, yeah, don't get caught up on your first one. Make a bunch. There's so much fun. Like I said, look at all my guys I can play with now. And uh, just change a little bit here and there. Like I said, right today, the hands are in the pocket. There's no hair. Next one we do down the road may have hair, may not have ears, may have a uh, holding a stick, a hiking stick. You know what I mean? We're going to keep uh, playing around with these and we'll get a little bit taller and whatnot. But uh, I just love these little guys. Hey, hey. So, all right. Don't forget to check out Wood Carving Illustrated. Link in the description. And uh, like I said, can't go wrong with that magazine. And uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, thanks for watching. I think what I got to do is I got a couple projects in my brain that I want to do more demonstration type because they'll be bigger things. But then uh, I'm definitely uh, going to do some of those dowel series to fill in the summer because I know how we are. We're all uh, here, there, and everywhere. And we don't have time to uh, really sit down a lot. But the dowel redos will be actually a little bit easier for me than coming up with a whole raft of new new ideas too so i'm gonna fluctuate the videos back and forth and uh demonstration and uh some of the dowel ones that we did before so in the one by one of course but anyway thanks for watching hope this isn't too long and boring but uh hey it's free <laughs> thanks guys i will catch you on the next one